one thing that we have to keep in mind is that everyone is at different parts of their lives. Where I may be is not where you may be. Where you may be may not be where the person next to you may be. We all have certain parts of our life that are easy. There's certain parts of our lives that are difficult. And in that ebbs and flow of life, those peaks and valleys of life, we have to realize that there's a level of patience, there's a level of grace that people need. Not everyone's going to have the same level of understanding as you. Not everyone's going to be able to catch on to things as quickly as you may be. That's not an excuse to make them feel stupid by asking them questions that may insult their intelligence or make them feel that they're less than, to belittle them or to be condescending to them. It's all about word choice. And we have to be so careful of how we choose to use our words. Our words can speak life and death. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. And my question to you tonight is how are you using your tongue? Are you using your tongue to speak life? Or are you using your tongue to speak death? There's a huge responsibility for that very little thing that's in the middle of your mouth. And I don't think that we really realize the gravity, the, the weight that's beyond this very small muscular object in our mouth. We use it to, to say the most positive things, but in the same breath, we can turn and say something so nasty that it'll, it, it'll make someone never the same again in a negative way. And I don't know about you, I don't want to be responsible for destroying someone's life by what I've said to them. I don't think that it's fair for us with the responsibility that we all have. We have the responsibility of, of building people, helping people. We're all leaders in our own right. What I may know may not be what you may know. We are able to share the information that we have amongst one another to make each other better. But we can't do that if we're continually tearing one another down, saying what we aren't instead of what we are, telling us we can't, instead of telling us what we can do. We have to be able to make this distinction and we have to be able to be a help, not a hindrance. We have to be a blessing, not a burden. And the only way that we're gonna do that is that if we are very mindful of what we say and how we say it. I know you're wanting to tell a person what they need to hear right now and you feel like they need to hear it right now, but right now may not be the time. I know you don't want to hear that. I know you want to get it off your chest because you've been wanting to tell them that for a long time. And you know they need to hear this because they're going to destroy their life. Yep. But guess what? Right now is not the time. And you feel it. You feel it. That little twinge, that little gut instinct feeling. That's the Holy Spirit telling you, not right now. Hold off. Show them better than you can tell them. If you can't show them better than you can tell them, you better be quiet because they're not going to hear your words anyway. We live in a world where it's a show me now. What are you showing them now? We can talk that talk all day, but what are we doing? There's people out here dying because they are they're they're being told what to do instead of shown what to do. Lead by example. Be the example that you want to see in other people because people will respect what they see more than what they hear. Because if, the, if what they're hearing is not backed by action, those words mean nothing to them. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And may God continue to bless you. I pray, pray that this message is received by all that needs to hear it because someone is destroying people by words, and you can change that tonight.